put in the word this morning. And uh, we are looking at uh, Psalms 57. Psalms 57. Psalms 57 and 1. Psalm 57 and, and 1. And uh, I'm going I'm gonna to read this text this morning from the Amplified Version. I think it gives more clarity and and uh, I think it helps to uh, under, uh, help, explains it in such a way that uh, makes it uh, more receptive. So he says in Psalms uh, 57, one, uh, God's word is recorded as, be merciful and gracious to me, O God. Be merciful and gracious to me, for my soul takes refuge and finds shelter and confidence in, in you. Yes, in the shadow of your wings will I take refuge and be confident until calamities and destructive storms are past. All right, you see that? And for those who may be hung up with the new king with the King James Version. Here's what the King James Version says. It said, be merciful unto me, O God. Be merciful unto me, for my soul trusteth in thee. Yea, in the shadow of thy wings will I make my refuge until these calamities be overpassed. And verse 2 says, I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. <laughs> all right. That's personalizing uh, this text somewhat. He says, you do it for me. I want to talk this morning about uh, this uh, from the subject. Uh, this too shall pass. This too shall pass. Amen. Y'all got that? This too uh, shall pass. This too shall pass. All right. Let us, let us get started here in the word. I don't know if this pertains to you or not, but I'm sure uh, it references someone this morning. Have you ever been caught in a calamity or felt yourself being undone? about destructive storm? Do you feel you are even now perpetually and persistently plagued by problems that seem to have no end? Are you waiting on uh, a storm in your life to cease? And you know God is the answer. This morning, our text suggests that although storms are unpredictable, they are unwelcomed, they are also unavoidable, you might as well lay out the uh, welcome mat <laughs> at your door because sooner or later, they will arrive at your doorstep. But the challenge of every born again believer is to believe that although <laughs> they come, they will come to pass. <laughs> they will come to pass. Hallelujah. And that's simply saying that trouble don't last always. That, that's the crux of what I'm trying to say to us in this word this morning. I think that's what the psalmist is trying to say to us this morning. Trouble don't last always, okay? Because the Bible says we are more than conquerors. Psalm, I mean, Romans 8, 37. My intent today in this little word is to, that we might feast on the word and feast on it in such a way that it will help us to better navigate, uh, navigate our way through whatever adversity you are presently facing and the residuals of this pandemic. 
<laughs> and I know it, there's nobody who uh, is excluded, okay? You may not uh, have uh, uh, personalized troubles as I'm uh, referencing, but uh, you, you know, nobody is escaping, okay, uh, this virus that seems to have no end. But I, I stopped by to tell you today that this too shall pass. It doesn't look like it, but I promise you, based on the word of God, this too shall pass. I want to assure you that although trouble is lasting, okay, it's, it is not everlasting. <laughs> Under the watchful care of God, you will survive your situation. I don't care what it is. If you are a child of God, you can lay claim on victory right now. You will survive your situation, okay? Yeah, and we will survive this pandemic, okay? Unless God calls us home. And if God calls us home, hallelujah to his holy name. Whatever you you are presently going through, you will get through it. It will come to pass. Our text finds David at the footstool of the throne of grace, petitioning God for his mercy. He says uh, in the in verse one, in the depth of distress, the psalmist cries to God because he is most high in glory. Though the Lord is on high, yet he regards the lowly. That's Psalms 138, six. I'll read again. Though the Lord is on high, yet he regards the lowly. You know what the senior saints used to say about it? He sits high, yes, but he also looks low. <laughs> Isn't that good news today? He is uh, aware of everything that we are going through, all right? I don't care who you are. He knows about your, your situation. Matter of fact, you can, you can be one of his children, born again, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. Uh, he knows about your situation. But you can be an all-out-and-out -out sinner, okay? Because God is omniscient. He knows about your situation, too. He knows whether you belong to him or not, or whether you are just perpetrating. You really don't belong to him. You just, you know, hypocrite along the way. But I tell you what, you better make sure. You better make sure before it's eternity too late, because when you close your eyes in there, it's all over. Uh, who who can deliver us on time all the time? Who, who, who else can we depend upon to really watch our back, okay? Uh, who else will have mercy on us? God is the God, as the psalmist say, uh, he's the God of mercy and the Father of mercy. We, we find that clearly written in 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 1, verse 3. And so it is. It is befitting that in distress, David should seek mercy uh, from the Lord in whom uh, mercy dwells. Amen. And, and I, I'm glad the psalmist said one occasion, God is plenteous in mercy. Anybody need mercy out there today? Anybody need the mercy or the mercies of God? Look to God because he is the father of mercies. He will have mercy upon us. When we cannot see the sunshine of God's face, it is, it is blessed to hide under the shadows uh, uh, of his wings. He, he, was, he was confident. David was, his, his troubles would end well. In, in due time, the disaster would part, part, would pass rather. My brothers and sisters, your trouble will pass and your long night of suffering will end. Note the varying conditions uh, of the same heart, okay, at the same time. 
He said, my soul trusts in you. My soul is, is among lions. My soul is bowed down. My soul, uh, my heart rather, is steadfast until these calamities are passed by. Evil will affect all of us, but it will pass by. And the eternal wings will abide over us until then. Blessed, blessed by God, our calamities, hallelujah to his holy name, our calamities are, 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 are matters of time. It's a matter of time. Trouble in our way is only a matter of time. Tested, try our faith are only a matter of time. Temptations that taunt us, uh, taunt us uh, are only a matter of time. Satan cannot sabotage, sabotage our day. All of his devices will fail. Calamities are matters of time. But our safety is a matter of eternity. Hello, somebody. John 10 said that Satan has come to steal, kill, and destroy. Yeah, but when we are under the divine shadow, trouble passing over cannot, <laughs> cannot hurt us, can't harm us. When the hawk flies across the sky, can't hurt the little chicken down in the barnyard. Okay, see them? but can't hurt them. Uh, and, 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 but this is no evil uh, uh, to us when God is watching over us. The world is filled with evil on, on every hand. I mean, you know, Satan is, is uh, the God of this world, okay? And if God didn't protect us, if he didn't watch over us, okay? Uh, uh, Satan would take us out of here, but we are we are nestled beneath the protecting uh, wings of God, and so we must abide in the will and the work of God. You you remember that song? I don't know if y'all remember that hymn or not. Uh, 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 entitled "Abide." I've learned the wondrous secret of abiding in the Lord. I found the strength and the sweetness of combating. Uh, in his word, I've tasted life's pure fountain. I'm drinking of his blood. I've lost myself uh, in Jesus. I'm seeking, I'm sinking uh, into God. I'm, I'm, I'm crucified uh, with Christ, uh, Jesus, the word is. And he lives and dwells in me. I have ceased from all my strugglings. Tis no longer I, but he. All my will is yielded uh, to him, and his spirit reigns within. And his precious blood, each moment keeps me clean and free from sin. For my, for my words, I take his wisdom. For my works, his spirit's power. For my, for my ways, his ceaseless presence guards and guides me in every hour. Uh, of my heart, he is my portion. Of my joy, the boundless spring, uh, savior, sanctifier, healer, Lord have mercy, glorious Lord and, and, and uh, coming king. Verse two said, I will cry unto God most high, unto God that performeth all things for me. David is safe. But he prays, for faith is never silent. He does not say, I do cry, or I have cried, but I will cry. While we are here, we will have to cry sometime. Every now and then, we got to shed some tears. Amen. But if we call on God, God will wipe the tears from my eyes, because as I say, this too, whatever you're dealing with, this too shall pass. David, David has, has a forceful, hallelujah, uh, 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 reason for praying, where well, he sees God in action. The believer waits and God works. 
Verse 3 says, he shall send from heaven and save me from the reproach of him that would swallow me up. God shall send forth his mercy and his truth. If there if there are no uh, fit instruments on earth, heaven will send legions of angels to comfort the saints. In times of great distress, we may expect remarkable mercies like the Israelites in the wilderness. We will have our bread hot from heaven, <laughs> fresh every morning. I can testify about the remarkable mercies and the mercies of God. He sends help when we need it. He opens doors when we can't see them, see our way in or out. He opens the doors. He steps forward when others step back. Whenever the battle is fierce, comfort will come from headquarters, from the commander in chief. He will be on time and not only on time, but he'll be on time every time. You don't believe me? Uh, not only does David testify, but you can ask the three Hebrew boys. They'll tell you. Not only will they uh, escape flames when we read that uh, uh, account of them, uh, of them, but the hair on their heads will not be singed, nor their garments affected. And the smell of the fire, smoke will will not be on them. That's Daniel 3, 20, 27. God will send forth his mercy and his truth. He asked for mercy and truth came with it. God always gives us more than we ask for. His attributes like angels on the wings are always ready to come uh, to the rescue of his children. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that we have this record uh, from David here <clears throat> in uh, the, the psalmist as he tells us that uh, God, God will be there for us when we need him and whatever troubles or calamities are, are in our lives, it won't last always because it will come to pass. And why are you so assured of that, Pastor? Why are you so assured of that, uh, David? Uh, uh, because uh, one verse says uh, in uh, Ephesians 3.20, now unto him that's able to do exceedingly, y'all better hear this word, to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh uh, in us. <laughs> yeah, that's how I know Psalms 4, 57, 4 said, my soul is among lions and I lie among them that are set on fire, even the sons of men whose teeth are spears and, and arrows and their tongues are sharp swords. Yeah, the militias carry uh, 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 armor in their mouths. The tongue is has compared is compared to a sword. It has the objective uh, uh, objective sharp uh, added to it. It shows that people can wound us. Lord have mercy. It shows that people can wound us more severely with their tongues than they could by literally carrying us with their with their hands physically uh, with that <clears throat> pardon me <clears throat> but I hear uh, Isaiah saying uh, no weapon uh, <laughs> uh, that is uh, uh, no weapon formed against you and I shall be able to prosper. And every tongue, yes, which arises against you in judgment, you shall uh, condemn, according to Isaiah 57, 54 
and 17. Verse 7 of the psalmist says, My heart is fixed. Oh God, my heart is fixed. And I will sing and give praise. David might have said, My heart is fluttering. Instead, he, he's calm, he's resolute, he's happy. When the central, central thought is David has his trust in the Lord. I hope your trust is in God this morning to know that whatever you may be dealing with, it has come, but it will come to pass. No trouble shall last always. David said, my heart is steadfast. <laughs> steadfast, because it's fixed on God. No longer is it at the mercy of every uh, uh, evil person. or uh, No longer is it at the mercy of the evil workings of this age and, the, and of Satan. Yes. And so when you understand that God's got your back, and no matter what you are dealing with, yeah, and, and you can be thankful. <laughs> Am I right, somebody? Yeah, you can be thankful. It is not enough uh, uh, to merely carry about a thankful heart. You must make known publicly what uh, God has done for you and tell somebody what a merciful God he is and how good he is. David said, I will sing and uh, give him praise. Verse 8 said, Awake up, my glory. Awake, psaltery, and hot. And I myself will awake early. Awake, for the hour of praise shall come. Mm -hmm. The hour of praise has come. Who? Me, David. <laughs> Who? Me. You. What? We'll praise him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. Uh, I'll praise him among the people for his mercy and his truth <laughs> is everlasting. Oh God, I don't know about you, but I do depend upon the mercies of God because I know I don't always cross every T and dot every I, but I need him as I do. I need him every day. Isn't that what the song said? I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Every hour, I need thee. Yes, as, as much as we try to walk upright and do what is pleasing in God's sight, we miss the mark. And therefore, we need the mercies of God. Hallelujah to his holy name. He's always there for us and we can be confident that whatever trouble comes our way it won't last hallelujah yeah yeah for this too uh shall pass mm. it shall pass everything comes in seasons anyway you know that you got trouble here uh that's one season uh but you have some good days that's a season you have not so good days that's a season Matter of fact, Ecclesiastes 3 uh, says to everything, didn't he say so? He said to everything, there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heaven. Yeah, Solomon said there's a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. He said there's a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time uh, uh, to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to get and a time to lose, a time to keep, yes, uh, and a Time to speak, 
a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. Yes, uh, uh, in due season, uh, everything uh, uh, will come uh, uh, to its full filling end. Everything has a season. Yeah, uh, uh, your troubles, your calamities uh, have a season. Uh, this virus that we all been dealing with has a season. Everything has a season. Whatever you're dealing with, it's only for a season. Football has a season. Basketball has a season. Baseball has a season. Soccer has a season. Yes, uh, everything has their season. Deuteronomy 32 and 35 said, To me uh, belongeth uh, vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time for the day of their calamity is at hand and the things that shall come upon them he said make haste a man have joy by the answer of his mouth and a word spoken in due season proverbs 15 23 how good it is jackie gleason i know i'm dating myself when i reference him but jackie gleason said long time ago uh uh he said, uh, oh, how, how sweet it is, uh, how sweet it is uh, to trust uh, in uh, uh, the Lord. Yes, uh, I love the song says, uh, uh, I found uh, a savior uh, and he is sweet, I know. Uh, I'm getting ready to close, yeah, uh, momentarily, uh, but, uh, we need to understand uh, everything uh, has a season, uh, and your troubles are, are but a season. Uh, well, uh, uh, it's a season for Christmas. Uh, it's a season for Thanksgiving. It's a, the a season for Easter and New Year's. Uh, it's a season. Uh, 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 in due season, <laughs> yes, uh, uh, everything uh, has a season, uh, and it shall uh, pass. Uh, your troubles uh, shall uh, pass. Uh, oh, Lord, uh, I'm thinking about uh, uh, what he says uh, uh, in uh, Galatians chapter 6, uh, I think it's around. Uh, uh, verse 9 uh, and it tells us that, that we are to trust uh, in the lord uh, and put our confidence uh, in him uh, 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 because uh, you're going to always reap uh, what you sow uh, he says uh, uh, in due season be weary be not weary uh, in well doing uh, but you shall reap uh, if you faint not. Uh, hallelujah to his name. Uh, for some, the psalmist said, the Lord uphold it. Uh, all that fall and raises up all those that be bowed down. Uh, Satan may have you on the run now. Uh, but just know uh, God will. Uh, won't he do it, somebody? Uh, he will. Uh, Come to our rescue. Uh, it's just a matter, uh, a matter of time. Uh, it's just a matter of season. Uh, God will come uh, and He will deliver. Uh, yes, uh, wait uh, on the Lord. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, wait uh, on the Lord, uh, for He's on His way uh, uh, to deliver us. Uh, don't worry uh, about your troubles, uh, for trouble uh, will not last uh, always. Uh, but just 
humble yourself uh, under the mighty hand of God uh, that he may exalt you uh, in due time. Uh, cast, Peter said, uh, all your care upon him, uh, for you know uh, that God cares for you, uh, and whatever trouble you have, uh, it will pass. Uh, trouble don't last always. Uh, heartbreak uh, don't last always. Uh, discouragement uh, don't last always. Uh, sickness, uh, financial problems, uh, trials, uh, they will uh, come to pass. Uh, I heard the hymn writer say, uh, trials uh, dark on every hand, uh, and we cannot understand uh, all the ways uh, that God would lead us uh, to that blessed promised land. Uh, but uh, he will guide us, uh, yes, uh, with his eye, uh, and we'll follow until we die. Uh, We'll understand it uh, better by and by. Uh, yes, uh, understanding it uh, by and by. Uh, burdens, uh, they'll pass. Uh, you just take your burdens to the Lord uh, and leave them there. Uh, anger endure for a moment uh, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night. Uh, but Psalms, uh, uh, the psalmist said, Psalmist 30, I think verse 5, uh, weeping may endure for a night, uh, but joy will come uh, in the morning. Uh, won't it come? Uh, somebody's been through something, and you know uh, uh, it doesn't last always. Uh, somebody ought to type, uh, uh, yes. Uh, it won't last always, uh, uh, and, and we know, uh, yes, whatever we're dealing with, uh, uh, and we know uh, that all things work together for good to them uh, that love God, uh, to them who are called uh, according to his purpose. Uh, hallelujah. Jesus declared this before he left. Uh, he said, let not. Uh, your heart be troubled. Uh, uh, ye believe in God. Uh, believe also in me. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, does anybody believe in God? Does anybody believe his word today? Uh, does anybody trust him? Uh, do you know uh, his grace uh, is sufficient? Uh, whatever you're going through, uh, God is able to carry you through. Uh, Yes, he is, uh, for this too uh, shall pass. Uh, I'm going to leave you here now, uh, uh, but I want to leave you this word with this little word. Uh, uh, be not dismayed, whatever be tired. Uh, God will, uh, yes, he will uh, take care of you. Uh, I don't care how bad it looks. Uh, God got his hand. Uh, right on the pulse of your troubles. Uh, yes, uh, it can look bad. Uh, it looked bad uh, uh, for Jesus one Friday evening uh, on uh, Mount Calvary. Uh, didn't it look bad uh, uh, when those wicked men put him to death? Uh, it looked bad. Uh, yes, it looked bad. Uh, they crucified him uh, on Friday. Uh, and it looked bad, uh, yes. Uh, uh, but uh, after they crucified him uh, uh, and took him down uh, uh, and laid him in uh, Joseph's borrowed tomb, uh, stayed there uh, three days and three nights. Uh, uh, but early, I tell you, this too shall pass. Uh, early, early Sunday morning. Uh, uh, as bad as it looked, uh, uh, God got him up. Uh, God will deliver you. Uh, he got him up uh, uh, from the grave. Uh, and I hear Jesus rejoicing uh, uh, in the victory uh, uh, of his father's deliverance. Uh, uh, yeah, as he said, 
I, I, I was dead, uh, but I'm alive uh, uh, forevermore. Uh, a little while, uh, yes, uh, uh, you see me. Uh, he said, uh, in a little while, uh, you, you won't see me no more. Uh, uh, I'm going back to my father. Uh, I'm going back to where I came from. Uh, yes, uh, and he said, be of good cheer. Uh, uh, for I have uh, overcome the world. Uh, uh, there's nothing in this world uh, 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 can destroy you uh, uh, or deter you. Uh, yes, uh, uh, from uh, the Father's love and care. Uh, you hold on uh, uh, to God's unchanging hand. Uh, it will be all right uh, after a while. Uh, don't let your troubles. That's all I'm trying to say. Don't let your trouble get you down. Because it will be all right by and by. Yes, it will be all right by and by. This too shall pass. Amen. This too shall pass. No matter the calamities, no matter the troubles, no matter the cross you carry, just know that the troubles or whatever you're dealing with, it go by us. Amen. It's just a season that you're going through. We, we give God the praise. We give him the thanks. We magnify his name. We glorify him because we know his word is true. Amen. No matter how bad it looks, Jesus promised us victory already. And we've got to walk in the victory of Jesus' holy and righteous word and his own experience. Amen. His own experience. We got to walk in that victory every day of our lives. Thank you, Jesus. We have we have this day uh, uh, the uh, opportunity to be reminded of, of the victory that we had uh, and, uh, we have and how we got it. And we have it through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And that's why on these, on first Sundays, we take a few moments after uh, we've uh, uh, delivered a sermon and we do our communion service. Can't do it like we've once done it, uh, if being physically together, but we can uh, remind ourselves through the elements that we choose to use, okay, of what Jesus did for us that guarantees us victory. He says, uh, this do in remembrance of me. Uh, I feel like preaching some more, but I, I'll stop. This do in remembrance of me. We have to remember him. Amen. Not only do we remember the troubles he dealt with and the wickedness we dealt with, but we also remember uh, the deliverance. We remember uh, the victory that he wrought for us. Uh, when he got up that Sunday morning, he said, remember, remember what I, the price I paid so that you can have this victory, so you can have this salvation. We're going to take a few moments and we're going to uh, uh, utilize the elements that we have uh, before us here. I hope that uh, you remember that today was first Sunday and that uh, this is the Sunday we remember Jesus's death his burial, and his resurrection. Remember that by uh, uh, taking some uh, crackers, uh, unleavened bread, whatever you have that you're going to use to uh, represent his body. We're getting ready to uh, take that right now. But before we uh, receive the communion, we want to uh, say if there's anyone who's listened to uh, uh, us and heard the word today and heard the voice, of Christ, amen, and you're convicted that, uh, you know, God's word is true and his word is for you and you feel convicted and you're convinced and, and you want to be converted uh, by receiving Christ as your savior, uh, you can do so right now, okay? You can do so right now. Follow the prompts on the document that will be on the screen after the, this service. If you follow that uh, uh, information, and, and follow through, someone will be on the other end to talk to you further 
about uh, receiving Christ and becoming one of his uh, disciples. Uh, if you want to be a member of the New Sardis Church congregation, uh, uh, the New Sardis Fellowship, uh, you can do that too by following the same props, prompts and uh, uh, calling that number that's on the screen. There'll be someone there to talk to you, uh, to take you further into this relationship with Jesus Christ. Yes, trouble is lasting, but it's not everlasting. But we do have a Jesus who gives us uh, everlasting life. And so we take the communion today, knowing that this represents everlasting life. We hold in our hands uh, right now. We hope you have yours by now. Uh, somebody put, oh, that's good. That's real good. Remember, we hold in our hands that which represents the uh, body of Jesus Christ, the body that was broken and bruised uh, for you and I at Calvary. Okay, we take that in remembrance of him. Ask God to please change this to them from the natural to the supernatural that it will serve the purpose of which we are uh, 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 committing to right now. And that is to remember him. And likewise, we have the cup. And I hope we got the cup, your cup in your hand. Okay. And I lift mine up. Okay, let you know I got mine right here. That uh, represents the spilled blood of Jesus Christ. God is able. Just like he was able to change that water into wine, he can take this grape Kool-Aid, whatever is in this cup, <laughs> and he can change it and make it, uh, amen, represent the blood of Christ. Let us drink together in Jesus' name. He said, as often as you drink this cup, eat this bread, drink this cup, you remember my death until I come again. Amen. Anybody looking for Jesus? Anybody looking for Jesus? I look for him every day. Every day I'm looking for him to bust through these skies. Amen. Bust through these eastern skies. Call his church home. I'm going to remember him until he comes again. God bless you. God keep you is my prayer. Trust that this word, this two shall pass, will be uh, a, a, a word for you today that it will help you in the days ahead, knowing that trouble just don't last always. Amen. As common as it is, it just doesn't last.